Arsenal were supreme. They look a different proposition compared to this time last year. Very much so. Very much. I thought they were absolutely outstanding and bright, and I thought they blew them away. And that's what I'm saying. You know, the games will soon tick away. I think if they play like they did against Aston Villa at Villa Park, mm. I, I think they beat Villa. So, for me, that's another game gone. I think they've been outstanding. You know, that's how much they've improved. You're disappointed that they haven't beaten Bayern Munich. Yeah. You know, and let's be honest, Bayern Munich are a giant of a European football team. Forget about what they're doing in the league. They're still a good team. But Arsenal are disappointing, and that's how far they've come on. You know, we're talking seven games to go. They're top of the league, and they're in the balance in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. It's improvement. They've improved, and they keep on improving. It's an unbelievable job what Mikko Arteta is doing it. An unbelievable job. And they've got the best defence, who, as far as 2024 is concerned, I mean, Merce touched on that supreme run of form. They've not fallen behind in a single Premier League game so far this calendar year. If you're looking for a weakness, if you're looking for reasons why this time they don't get over the line, where are they right now? I can't really think of one. Um, and I think that's a, a real positive for, for Arsenal fans. When Saliba got injured last season, I know there was, there was probably other factors as well, but I think he was a huge loss in, in that running in the, the final stages because the partnership of, of him and Gabriel looks so solid. Then you look at the, the midfield, Rice, Jorginho, obviously Rice has sort of evolved his, his position a little bit more. You've got Havertz in there, who's, I think, a lot of People questioned the signing of, of Jorginho and, and Havertz, but it's sort of proving that Arteta clearly knows what, what he's talking about by bringing those two in. Both of them have, have been fantastic signings. Um, and they just look so well organised off the ball. So when they don't have the ball, it's, it's <coughs> not just defensively, it's as a team, the way that they press and, and they all go together. Just make it really difficult mm. for sides, very good at set pieces. So they seem to be getting everything right. I think there's lots of talk, wasn't there? They need a centre forward. Yes, probably by adding a centre forward would have added a little bit extra, like similar to what Manchester City have done with Haaland, but they can still score goals without having a centre forward. There's goals all over, isn't there? The thing what's improved the most is they can make substitutions now and it doesn't weaken the team. Yeah. 